Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dawn here and today I am going to make and show you how to make what I'm going to call a faux shutter card. So I'll show you what I mean by that. A shutter card is where you have a little embellishment in the middle, you open out the, it's usually a gatefold card, and the sides open and shut. Now this is a faux shutter card where where it doesn't open and shut but it has the same effect. So I'm going to show you what I mean because it's easier to show you than to try and explain it. Now this time, unlike the last video, we are going to make a real belly band with a bit on the back like that. So, oops, put me bits of paper together. I didn't tape them together but never mind. So what we do, we will slide that off and put it to one side and when you open it up you have that in the middle. Now other, there are other videos around which will show you how to make a faux shutter card and or at least the ones I've seen don't have the faux pull, pulley bits but I've put mine on I've put it on mine just to make it a little bit more authentic. So and mine where I scored it a bit I actually I was a bit mean with the cutting this doesn't this should meet in the middle but I was a bit mean with the cutting but so the next one the one we're making on video hopefully will shut better. So I'm going to pop that up there and we are going to start, if I can find it, with a piece of plain card which measures 5 by 7. Now this will be a 5 by 7 when it's finished. There will be a little bit of bulk so it may not go into an envelope. We will also need the shutter parts. Oh, I've lost my bits and bits. Oh there we go. I thought I'd lost my, my list with my measurements on it. You will need two gatefold parts which measure 3 by 7. And you're going to score at half an inch down one side. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I've used pattern paper for mine. It's a double sided. And this, this is going to be the inside. So it's three by seven. And you score. I've scored mine on the inside at half an inch down there. And we've got another one on the other side. Now this isn't directional paper. If this was directional paper, you'd need to make sure that both pieces are the same way up. Otherwise it would look a bit funny. So I'm going to use red runner tape for this bit, just because it's quicker and you don't have to wait for it to dry. And we'll get to the faux shutter part in just a minute. So I'm going to use that and we're going to place our piece of card, our in this case red, our plain card, just up to the score line so that it folds like that. It will go over but that it won't do by the time we finish because as I've said there will be bulk, a little bit of bulk anyway. So again we're going to run that down up to but not over the fold. So make sure that that's covered with a good coating of double-sided tape. Or red, like you could use red runner tape if you want, you could even use glue. I'm just using tape because it's quicker and you don't have to wait for it to dry as we said. So. Now what we need to do, we need to measure, if you're going to put your pull tabs, you don't have to put the pull tabs in if you don't want to, but I've already, I've actually already measured mine in so that it's in the centre, because in our last card, in the one I showed you just a minute ago, I put the aperture at the top, but this time I'm going to have it in the middle. So we'll get to that in a minute. So you need two faux pull tabs and you need to cut them at, if I can find my notes, two by three and a half and all of these measurements will be in the description down below so don't worry about having to remember them and this time I'm going to use some glue stick so I'm going to just pop that over there like that pop my glue stick up this is the let's create glue stick the one that I used last time it was the one that I was saying that was new to me but I actually quite like it I'm quite impressed with it so I'm going to pop that over there and I've already measured my lines and what we're going to do, we're going to pop that over there like that. Because we need that, we don't want that to come off. And in a minute we're going to put the other bit on. But we'll come to that in a second. And then we need to do obviously the same to the other side. So just find a bit of room. So if I pop that up there, I was just finding some room so you can see what I was doing. Although at the moment I'm just gluing. So I'm just going to put glue on the back of this other faux pull tab. Give it a good coating because we don't want it peeling off. And I have got some little, I don't think that you can see it, but I have got some little pencil marks just to show me where to put it. 
and we just put it a little bit over. I haven't, I'm not going to measure how much this goes over, but roughly a quarter of an inch, I think we'll do. And then what we're going to do, I think the next thing to do is I'm going to put the back on. This is where we write our message. So I'm going to turn it over like that. So to cover up all this bit here, we're going to have a five by seven white mat. And again, I'm just going to put that on with glue. So you cover, can you see that? Wonderful, you can. Cover up to the, this time we'll go over the score lines because this is what will hold it all together. Give it a good coating of glue. You can use tacky glue if you want to. If you want to, you can use a stronger glue, but if you're using a thin paper or a thin card, you don't need to use glue that strong. You just need to make sure that it's all over so that it doesn't fall off or peel off. We don't want this part lifting. This is where we're going to write our message, or you're going to write your message. So that's that bit finished now. So we're going to turn it over. Oh, sorry about that. I'm not with camera. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do the fun part. We are going to put the, we need a pattern part, which is again, five by seven, but you've got a two by two triangle. No, it's not a triangular, it's a diamond in the middle. Now, before I show you the bit that I've done, I'm going to show you how I did it. So, what I, you can use a die if you want to, but if you haven't got dies, well, you haven't got, you don't have to use square dies, you can use any shape you like. I haven't got square dies, not yet. I have ordered some, they're on their way, but at the moment I haven't. So we are going to put ours in the middle. So I've cut, that's not two by two actually, I, I tell a lie, it's two and a half by two and a half, but again, it will be down in the description box, so don't worry. So that it's two and a half by two and a half aperture. So if you do it this way, you can decide where you're going to put it. So I, I could put it there, there, or there. So what I'm going to do, I've decided that for this one, we've put it in the middle. So all you do, I've already done this on my pattern piece. This is just a piece of scrap to show you how to do it. You put your template in the middle. You cut yourself a two and a half square, inch square template, draw around it like that. And then all you do is you find yourself a pair of sharp scissors, just poke it through the point until it breaks the surface, lift it up, and then all you do, I won't do it all now, but if I start it off, I'm sure you'll get the idea. You put your scissors in and then you start cutting and you cut it out all the way around, which I won't do now. And once you've done that all the way around on your pattern piece, I suggest you do pattern, you'll have a piece that looks like that. Now, on the back of this, which I've already done to spare you having to watch me do this over and over again, I have got some foam pads, which I've already taken the backing off, which is why I didn't show you, show you how to do that on the real piece, because it would stick. So we've got foam pads. Now we're going to flip that over. This isn't particularly directional, so it's really a matter of choice as to which way you put it on. And the reason we did, did this first, because we want to sandwich this bit. If you're going to do your faux pull, pull, pull your parts, you need to sandwich this part between the back and the top part. So I'm going to line mine up with the bottom because I find it easier that way. So once it's all down like that, if you have a little bit showing at the top, don't worry about it. I'm not going to. It's a handmade card. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then all you really need to do is fold that down like that. Just give it a squeeze. We're going to push it back. We're not quite ready to close it up yet. But we're going to fold that down. And well, we'll say let's put the middle now. You need a little part, you need a little embellishment, either an embellishment or a sentiment to go in the middle. Now, you can do a die cut, you can do a stamped image, you can do whatever you like or whatever you happen to have. Now, I found this gorgeous little robin, and it was actually an image from an old calendar which was about three or four years old. But I kept the images because I liked them and I thought I could use them in my crafting because I'm far too mean to part with anything. So we're going to, I don't throw anything away, I keep everything, which is why my craft room <laughs> looks such a mess. But I'm going to put some glue stick on there and pop the glue stick out the way for a minute. And I'm going to pop that in the middle like that. So, oops, sorry about that. I should have muted my phone, never mind. It's only a message, it can wait. Now, the next thing you will need, and we should have done this before really, but it doesn't really matter. You need some strips, thin 
plain card strips. Thin, when I say plain, I mean not patterned, like that. And these are roughly a quarter of an inch. I haven't measured them. I'm not that fussy. But roughly a quarter of an inch. But don't make the habit or don't make the mistake of doing this. What we're going to do, again, I'm going to use my red runner tape. And I'm just going to pop that up there because I need to show you how we put this together to make it more effective, to show, to emphasise the shutter effect. So we run some tape like that. Or again, you can use glue, but if you use glue, you have to wait for the thing to dry. So, because I'm far too impatient for that. So line it up, don't put it right across. Line it up with one corner and just bring it to the edge like that. Now, because this has got sticky tape all the way along it, I don't want that going over this part. So the other way around, of course, you could have kept the, if I wasn't doing this on video, I'd have kept the sticky pad or the backing tape on and I'd have done this bit first. But because I'm doing it on video, I wanted to show you the order of putting it together. So I'm just going to snip that off like that. Get off. Right. And we're going to do that all the way around because I do want to show you the order in which we put this on. So by the time we've finished, it will look like a shutter card. So I'll keep the scissors handy and we're going to do that again. So we're going to run that all the way down the length like that. And this is probably the last time I'll be able to use this paper, but that doesn't matter. So again, what you do, you take it to the edge like that and you let it go across like that. So line it up, take it to the edge. If you're going to do it this way, it's actually easier to do it the other way, but that's all right, we'll manage for now. And then cut it at the edge and stick it down. And we're just going to do that with the other two pieces very quickly. So again, let's just pop that down there for a minute. It doesn't matter if that splits. We're going to run that along there. As you can see, I haven't measured them. They're not all exactly the same, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to run that along there. And because it's got tape on it, it's going to stick to both sides, but never mind. We're going to take that up and we're going to let that go all the way. We're going to butt that up to the edge and we're going to let it come all the way down in here like that. And again, we are going to lift that and snip it off. Any overhang we can deal with at the end. And one more, in fact, I'm going to put that on this side this time because I'm running out of spare white paper. Let's just put this back together again. There we go. And I will just quickly run that down there like that. Pick that up. And actually, do you know what? It's difficult to know which way to do that. I am going to let that run, actually. We are going to let it run like that. Now, what we could have done, we could have done it the other way so that it was going to wet from edge to edge. But we can still do that. If you think, if you do what I've just done right. and, and think, oh, actually, I, I should have done that. So it's all right. I'm getting hang from the other side of the room. So if you think, oh, actually, I wanted that to come up like that, that's all right. You can find the bits that you've just taken off, which I haven't done. But actually, I quite like it like that. So you can leave it like that. That's no problem. But if you wanted it to come up all the way to the edges, that's absolutely fine. But it would be a case of piecing it all back together again. Well, not all together, but you could do that. But that's not long enough. But that is. So you could put that bit there. But we won't bother about that now. I might I might fiddle about with it later. But oh hang on, I'll tell you what, let's have a look. Let's see if we can piece it back together again. Let's see if we can be clever. It'd be a first if I could be clever, but so I'm going to see if I can match that up. So we're going to do that. See if we can match this up. So this is if you change your mind, this is how you get out of it. I don't think that'll go there, but we that bit's not sticky. So 
So obviously this is going to run a bit longer than our usual videos, but that's okay. Sometimes it's good to have a bit of a, a longer session together. So we'll pop that on there. And the only other bits, I think, are those bits there. So we could put that one there. Actually, no, we can't put that one there. It doesn't fit properly. We'll take it off. That's the problem when you've got sticky stuff. Oh, but that one will fit. So that one, we could always put it over like that. That one will fit over there. And then we just need a little bit. That one will fit over there. Perfect. Well, we got out of that quite nicely, didn't we? <laughs> so there we go. So that's how you deal with it if you change your mind, like I just did. So that's our faux shutter card. And I'm just trying to get all these sticky bits off my fingers. There we go. We're sorted now. Now, that will fold quite nicely. It may overlap, but that's absolutely fine. So it will overlap a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. Now, I've just noticed a little tiny bit there sticking out. So if you do happen to see that, just chop the thing off. Don't worry about it. So now what we're going to do, I'm actually going to turn my bits of paper over because they're very sticky. So a quick change of paper so that we've got something nice and non-sticky. And we're very quickly going to put the belly band together and then we're done, guys. So you will need a piece of six by four. You will need another piece of three by five inches. Now, what we do with this, this part will go very, very quickly. We will put the glue on the back. This again, this is glue stick because it's quicker. We're going to lay that down like that. And because it's glue, you've got time to slide it into place. And you do need a band. This time we're having a proper belly band and that measures one by 10 inches. But we'll deal with that in a minute. Now, I've decided to put a little embellishment on the front here. So I'm just going to put some glue where it needs to stick. So very quickly, we're going to put some glue like that. I might just lift that and put some under there just to make sure it doesn't come off. You could use some tape if you want to, but I've just used glue for the time being. And on the top, I'm going to make this a thank you card. So I've got a couple of foam pads on the back, which I haven't taken the backing off yet, but that won't take five seconds. And make sure I line it up. And so we're going to have a thank you wreath. And now what we need to do, we need to bring our card back. Now, the best way to do this is lay your band down like that. Lay your card over. Wrap the thing around. Don't make it too tight because we need this thing to slip off easily. So just bring it out just a smidgen and give it a push. Once you pull it round and then just push with your fingers and then push down where you've pushed. And again, I'm going to use some red runner tape. Just a little bit on each side. And then finally, we are going to lay that down like that, push down like that. We have finally got our belly band in place. Give it a push. If it doesn't stick, just add a bit more tape or you can add some stronger glue or some stronger tape. But give it an extra bit of tape. It should stick down quite nicely. So stick that down like that and it's not going to stick. Oh dear. Okay, right. Now let's just have a quick look in here. Oh. Plan B. Always have a plan B on hand. I've got some double sided. So I'm going to very quickly put some double sided tape under there. Take the backing tape off if it'll come off quickly. Which it never does when you want it to, of course. So we're going to try and take this off. Oh, dearie me. Right, okay, there we go. And then bring that back over and that will stick down. And then all you've got to do with it, we got there eventually. Pull that off and open up your shutter card like that. 
And there we go, there is our faux shutter card. Well, we got there eventually, didn't we guys? So that's it for today. That's our faux shutter card. And when I come back on Friday, I will be making a much quicker and less complicated project. This will be a quick and easy project from anything you can find in your stash that you don't know quite what to do with. I found a couple of bits and I thought, what can I do with that? And then I had an idea because quite coincidentally, they coordinate beautifully. So when you come back on Friday, we're going to do a quick and easy project with leftover parts or scraps, as you like to call it. So quick and easy part, quick and easy card with scraps is what we're going to do on Friday. But for this time, we've got a nice faux shutter card, which opens up so beautifully. And I love that Robin. And then we'll slide that up. I won't put the belly band back on now. I'll just hold that over so that you can see it. So there you go, guys. There is our faux shutter card. I hope you've enjoyed that. And watch how I got around things that didn't quite go according to plan, but we got there in the end. So in the meantime, I wish you a rest of, pleasant day. Hope you've had fun enjoying this. And I hope you have a good day for the rest of the day. And I will see you again on Friday. And in the meantime, take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.